Hello, fellow media empire builders. Today I want to talk to you about bootstrapping. Bootstrapping can be applied to any business. Any business can do bootstrapping. It's an, an interesting concept. Let me tell you what it is. So first of all, what is a definition of bootstrapping? Well, bootstrapping is when you start up, build up, and create a business without any finance. In other words, no overdrafts, no uh, loans, no nothing. And, uh, and this can be applied to any business, as I said. So, to bootstrap, what you need to do is your trading needs to pay for your business. It's as simple as that. So when it comes to magazine publishing or, or media, etc., what I've always done and what I always will do is, is I've never had finance. I've never had finance, I've never had loans, I've never had um, uh, overdrafts, I've never had any of, of that nonsense. Simply because it's debt. And I've, I've always thought, and you must get this mindset, that a business needs to be able to support itself. If it can't support itself, useless having that business. And this is from the outset, by the way. So, how do we do that? Well, let's take a magazine advertising or magazine business as an example. So the first thing you do is you get your clients, your advertisers, to pay up front. Either pay up front in full or pay up front with a deposit. I've always done this. I've never had a problem with it. There's never been an issue with it. How do you do that, you ask yourself? How can you convince your advertisers to pay up front, etc.? Well, especially if it's the first issue. <laughs> it's a story. Well, there's some easy ways. We're very lucky because a lot of our, uh, our, our most powerful publications, etc., involve an enormous amount of production. So they involve photo shoots, they involve um, uh, article writing, interviews, etc., etc. So we use that. So the, the way the process works is like this. To start, and I'll do a separate video on what you need to start a, a media business, but it's very little actually. But to start, you've got to find out who you can get to advertise. So you've got to create a leads base. You then create a rate card. You then get hold of the clients and you sell an ad. And when you sell the ad, you then create the ad or get some kind of artwork together around that ad and the reason you do that is so that you can show your next advertiser that example of an ad and then what you do is for example with us with our tourism uh, when I'm selling I sell I sell them on the concept I sell them on on everything about the publication etc the online campaigns and so on and so forth just by the way, some of your marketing tools are, are like Facebook. You desperately need a Facebook page because they do check. Clients do check. They do want to know that you're bona fide, etc. And the last thing you want is, is people thinking that, that you're a scam artist. Trust me, I know. Anyway, so so you've got your Facebook page. doesn't matter how many likes you've got. Just, just get it up. Get it in. Keep it active. Make sure you post every day. You've got your rate cards, and you've got examples of other clients advertising, in other words, their peers. So what, you, what I do is I say to a client, I'm going to send you some examples of your peers who have already booked and been through the photographic process, just so that you can get a, a proper feel, look and feel for the publication. And the reason I do that is because it puts them totally at ease. They, they, they look at my email, and they go, hey, you know what, I've booked with this guy. I see that there are a lot of other people that have booked, they are happy, I can pick up the phone and phone any of them, and they'll give a good reference, uh, he's got a Facebook page, etc, etc, so the next day, when I send, so on the first day I send a, a welcome aboard, to say welcome aboard, we're going to make you proud, blah blah blah, and and on that same day, the, the we get hold of them with regards to production, with a list of requirements material wise to do their things or or specs if they're going to supply finished material whatever the case may be um, and of course specs with what we require for the online campaigns and then the next day I, I always leave it for a full 24 hours 
I send the invoice. When they get the invoice, they've already been talking to the editors. They've already been talking. And, and even if this is a freelance editor that you're hiring that's working from home, working with you to collect material, and you're paying per article or whatever, even if the photographer is, and I only use contract photographers that, that get paid per shoot, and you negotiate a very low shoot price because you, you, you convince them with the fact that you're going to be doing a lot of shoots, even if that's the case, etc., you get these people to contact your clients. And when a, a photographer, for example, goes to a client to take photos, or, or the client has a new product or whatever, put it on the Facebook page. Put it on the Facebook page so that everybody can see, like, like you're rocking and rolling, you're already promoting, etc. Anyway, so by the time they get that invoice a day later, they process it and they do full payment. I've never had a problem with that. Seriously. The only time I've had a problem is if the person actually doesn't have the money and shouldn't be advertising in the first place. Um, or if it's a, uh, what, what we call a soft sell. So, you know, you, you get solid sales and you get liquid sales. And when it's a liquid sale, then it's terrible anyway. So, so that's when... So that's what bootstrapping is. So bootstrapping is you get deposit or full payment up front you have to put that in a reserve account. Do not spend that fucking money. Put it in a reserve account, etc. When it comes to printing, print the magazine. Get 30 days on the print of the magazine. Or if you've got enough in your reserve account to pay COD up front, it allows you to negotiate a much better print price. And as a result, your margins improve, etc. But get a deposit whether it's a deposit or full payment up front and you'll notice that you don't have a problem with 90% of your advertisers and clients you don't have a problem with. Advertisers don't have a problem with this because they realize that for the online stuff if somebody doesn't pay you it's fine you just switch it off or take it off you just delete it the online stuff but for the 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 printed stuff once you've printed it you can't retract it and advertisers need to know this. And I tell them, I say to them, look, we've got a lot of production costs, we've got uh, shoot fees, we've got everything, etc., that's included in your package. I do need payment up front from you. It separates the men from the mouse kind of thing. You know, the wannabes and the monkey businesses from the real business. And I tell the clients that. And they're very proud to pay up front. They really are. So, that's what bootstrapping is. Bootstrapping is getting money up front so that you've got a positive cash flow from the outset and as a result you can then finance your business and the running of your business. It's as simple as that. Don't get loans anywhere. Don't do any of that stuff. You just bootstrap. Happy publishing.